Hi, and welcome to 3dmotive.com. My name is Stephen G. Wells, and in this volume, we'll continue with creating the next-gen details needed for our Vampire Stake Launcher. We'll start with working from the back, starting with the grip first. We'll use several different methods for masking, as well as using alphas to help create some of the finer details we'd expect to see on a weapon like this. We'll then move on to the pommel, mixing masking and alphas to help create some variation between the plating and the filigree work. We'll then move on to the trigger housing and the triggers themselves, again mixing masking and alphas with some hand-drawn details to tie several components together for an overall cohesive look. We'll continue moving forward, masking and creating main features on separate pieces within the weapon itself, while using a variety of alphas to help add some finesse details to each piece. The screw head alpha is one we'll be using a lot throughout this weapon, and almost every single component of this model will have screws of differing sizes embedded within it. For this model, one can ha never have too many screws. We'll then use Projection Master as a viable alternative to our regular masking methods to help create details before cre creating the details for our last section, which is the barrel of the Vampire Stake Launcher. Finally, we'll add in a scratch and scuff marks passes for each piece to help give the model an overall feeling of being used and used a lot. Thanks for watching 3dmotive.com and let's get started.